let's solve a trigonometry problem related to heights and distances. The problem states that there is a person at the top of a tower and the height of the tower is 75 feet and from there he observes a vertical pole and the angles of depression from the tower to the top and bottom of the pole are 30 degree and 60 degree respectively. So we'll have to find the height of the pole. So let's first construct the diagram. So let's call this as tower and from there is observing a pole and the angle of depression to the top of the pole whenever this angle of depression we will have to draw a horizontal line so first one is 30 degree and there is also an angle of depression to the bottom of the pole and this is this entire thing is 60 degree we will have to find height of this pole what is given? Height of the tower is given, which is 75 feet. Let's call this as A, B, C, T. So we'll have to use alternate angle principle. So the first angle is 30 degree, that is to the line AD. That means to this particular line, the alternate angle is also 30 degree. So why I'm drawing a line here? Because it has to form a triangle here, right? Alternate angle is 30 degrees. Similarly, the next angle of depression is 60 degree and that, that 60 degree is happening on this line AC and what is the alternate angle to AC? It is this one. So this is 60 degree. So now this forms a triangle. So if, you, if you observe there are two triangles here. One triangle is AOD and the other triangle is ABC. This is nothing but 60 degree angle. This is 30, de 30 degree angle. Right? So basically, you have an angle with 30 degree and an angle with 60 degree. So for identification, let me color code this triangle. Let me shade it. So this is one triangle. Then there is this triangle. First, let's take any one of the triangles. Let's take ACB or ABC. Let's take triangle ABC. In ABC, we have 60 degrees here. We have the opposite side given as 75 feet and uh, we don't know this. So since the opposite side is given and uh, we'll have to find out the height. So we'll use tan theta formula tan 60 here opposite by adjacent opposite is AB by adjacent is BC. AB is 75 feet BC, let's call this BC as X. X. And tan 60 is root 3. Root 3 is 75 by X. So X becomes, let's shift it the other, other side, it will be 75 by root 3. So let's call this as equation 1. Now let's take triangle AOD. In this, what is the angle that we have? AOD angle is 30 degree. So tan 30 is opposite by adjacent. What is opposite for ADO? It is AO by OD. Now OD is going to be same as BC in length because this is nothing but a rectangle and the opposite sides are equal. So OD is X. Now what is AO? DC is H. So that means OB is also going to be H because it's opposite side. Now if OB is H, then what is AO? It's going to be 75 minus H because the entire height is 75. This portion is H. So what is this portion? AO. It's going to be 75 minus H. So this is going to be 75 minus H. What is tan 30? It is 1 by root 3 is equal to 75 minus H by X. So this will give, I'll shift X on the other side. I'll get x by root 3 is 75 minus h or I'll get x is equal to root 3 into 75 minus h. Let's call this as equation 2. Now from 1 and 2, x that is bc and od are same. LHs are same which means RHs also have to be equal. So equation 1 is equal to equation 2 because LHs is equal for both the equations. So what will happen? 75 by root 3 is equal to root 3 into 75 minus h.
Now from this expression we can find out h and that will be the height of the pole. So what's going to happen? Let's take root 3 this side. So it's going to be 75 by root 3 into root 3 is 3 is equal to 75 minus h. Let's simplify this. 3 ones are 3 25s are 75. So you'll get 25 is equal to 75 minus h and that's nothing but 25 minus 75 is equal to minus h. That is minus 50 is equal to minus h. I'll cancel both. So it's going to be h is equal to 50 feet. This is the height of the pole.